up at the moment. Watch to the left! The left! Wait. Hurry it up! Fix those lights! Excuse me, sir. Your tie? Quickly now! Quickly! Hmm. Reeks of Marco. Looks like we made it. Layout's the same as Reactor One. Yeah, we're near Mako storage. Let's move. Hey, check it out. They sick this big boy on us. We'd be screwed six ways from Sunday. Mechanized units like these were designed to take out giant monsters. Probably a new prototype. If they do decide to deploy it, then our best bet would be to run like hell. Oof. Then let's hope he sleeps through the explosion. Soldier boy. Tifa. What? How much time we need? Got all the time in the world. This one comes with a remote detonator. Courtesy of Jesse. We withdraw to a safe distance, then kaboom! Safe distance? What? No such thing. <laughs> huh? What the? Where are you going? Timing. Wait a minute. Is someone watching us? Reactor 5. Shinra has confirmed the reactor to be the target of the bomb threat issued by the terrorist group Avalanche. <laughs> Members of the group were observed entering the facility, and security is currently sweeping it for explosive devices. We now go live to the scene. I'm here in the Sector 5 Undercity. Having confirmed the terrorist target, you guys the Shinra care Emergency what Operations us? Center has issued an evacuation advisory. Residents are outraged that the tragedy of Mako Reactor 1 was only the no first attack bombings! in a campaign no of violence. President Shinra has issued a statement providing assurances that the terrorists will soon be brought to justice. And so, to a people beset by chaos and uncertainty, we will offer the finest comfort, bread and service. The big boy! I give you Shinra's latest triumph of technology! The Air Buster, your executioner! Huh? <laughs> Engineering on the line. Currently, the Air Buster is only 60% operational. The estimates were optimistic. I'm on air! <laughs> to the imbecile in charge down there! You are here by order to seize those intruders and bring them to me. Come <sighs> quietly and there'll be trouble! Shh. 
Shut the hell up! I repeat. I don't believe it. We played right into Shinra's hands. And bring them to the command yeah. center right and that now. bullshit news is already peddling their false narrative. <sighs> so we're Attention screwed. all security forces. No, 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 hell no! The Listen, and bring them to the command they want to turn this into a spectacle. I then I say let's give them one. Let's the take down Shinra's big ass neck in front of everybody. Right now. Okay, I'm sold. Why was it? There we go. Ready, sir. Component outbound from B8. Copy, B8. Intruders! Take them out! It looks like a few of its components are still in transit. <laughs> we'll see about that. Could tamper a little with its loadout. And give ourselves an edge? There should be a console somewhere. This the console you're talking about? Serves y'all right. So where do we send the discarded stuff? To a storeroom for defective equipment, I'm guessing. That's so. You think these defective shells and programming cores might be valuable enough to warrant a little detour? Maybe. I say we grab them. Hmm. If we get that far. Everything Shinra has told you is a goddamn lie. Marco is the lifeblood of our planet. Those greedy bastards are bleeding it dry. Y'all gotta rise up. Barrett, who are you talking to? The people. Put me on TV, I'm gonna drop some truth. A thousand Gil says they cut the sound. I tell you what. I ain't never looked forward to an execution more in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say. We're about to make fools out of Shinra while the whole damn city's watching. <laughs> Times like these, you gotta save her. Oh no, if you're about to ask me to dance, then don't. Come on, don't be shy. How about you, Cloud? Think we've done enough to weaken the robot? All that we can, at least. It's all good. The stage is set. All that's left is to hijack out of your show. We're coming up on the exit. Tifa, detonator still in range? We should be good. The moment Big Boy goes down, you hit that switch. Right. Status report. We're short on BBs, but tracking down replacements. Work faster, or you'll hear it from the brass. <clears throat> Look! They're still prepping it! They're here! Hold them back! Buy us every second you can! Looks like a performance assessment, don't you think? We'll figure out its weaknesses as we fight it. As long as we stay focused, we'll be fine. We can do this. For real though, we need to talk victory poses. Something coordinated for the live on camera finish. Could blow up big! Start a new trend! Vito. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna make it home. All of us, no exceptions. Right. We don't want to disappoint Marlene. That goes for you too, Cloud. Right? You better give her a big old smile this time. If the price is right. <laughs> way we can get it open? Yeah, from that room over there. Why does everything have to be so damn complicated? You know, the faulty equipment storerooms that way, too. Do you think we'll find the components we diverted there? It's like a treasure vault. So how do we do this? It's simple, really. We move the levers at the same time. Got these ones. I'll take left. Which just leaves right, soldier boy. Movements? 
In that case, follow my lead. Nah, Tifa's. Fine, have it your way. Okay, pay attention, you two. Three, two, one. <laughs> I'm uh, still getting warmed up. Focus. Three, two, one. Emergency lockdown disengaged. Now that is what I call teamwork. Go team. What y'all got tucked away in that vault, huh? This would be the treasure vault? That's right. What's the catch? Need to bypass a high-level security lock. Different from the other one? Same deal. But we gotta do it several times. <laughs> Tight wads. But hearing that just makes me want to rob him more. Yeah, let's stick it to him. Delta level security lockdown is currently in effect. Okay, guys. You know what we have to do. Copy me? No, Tifa leads. Oh, fine. After you, girl. Gotta get past level one first, right? Three, two, one. Ah! Oh. Three, two, one. Alpha level security, disengage. Focus, three, two, one. Delta level security, disengaged. Disposal room now accessible. <sighs> Finally. I was beginning to think it'd never end. Hey, yo, Cloud, what's the deal? You really a bona fide soldier? We didn't train for this stuff. <laughs> All that marching with no rhythm? How did you soldier off? Okay, that's enough of that. Let's see what's inside. Huh? Huh? Look! Which would make you a soldier. Ex soldier. Once a soldier, always a soldier. Though not, alas, for very long. Accelerated cellular degradation being the most common cause of death by far. This is classified, of course, but every soldier knows the truth. That's right. Thank you for getting someone? Ah! What did I get with you? You strike me as the type to go on without head. Ain't enough hours in the day to hold you to account for all your crimes. And what a wasteful indulgence it would be, even if there were. Oh, okay then. Let's talk about wasteful indulgences. What is Marco? The life stream. The lifeblood of the planet. Our planet. But Shinra keeps on slurping it up like a thirsty dog. What do you think's gonna happen if you don't stop, huh? Hmm. We do indeed keep on slurping it up, as you say. But for whose benefit, I wonder. The true nature of Mako is known to one and all, yet the people willfully turn a blind eye to the cost. As you must surely be aware. Don't you dare try to put this on us! If anyone's going along with your plans, it's cause you brainwashed them! Such methods are beneath me. As are you, my faithful Suarex. Henceforth, allies of wicked Wutai, our sworn enemy. Thank you for stoking our people's patriotic fervor. Wutai! The hell we are! You still don't understand your role in this! What do they do? Don't you see? You fools were never in control. Never anything but pawns in our plans to sell great and glorious war to the people. And your instruments of insurrection will detonate. Uh. When we so choose. God damn it! Now let us raise the curtain on our main event! Fired with Mukai against Nikon. Your guilt 
is undeniable. Your punishment, death. I'm sick of all of this! It's just like the blood. But I fell in the cold. Cloud! Get your head in the game! We're counting on you, man. <sighs> we don't have long to get clear. Take Tifa and get out of here! I... I was wrong about you. This ain't the end of the line for you or me. Hey buddy. hey, buddy. You okay? You okay? Yeah. Made it through with just a uh, couple of scraped knees back then. Back then? Back then? What do you say? Are we doing this? Have we? Never mind about that. Right now, you need to focus on yourself. Move something. Anything. Why not? Easy does it. Slow. And steady. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, who are you? <laughs> who are you? I am your everything. <gasps> oh, Cloud. There's still so much. To be done. You should stay a while. I could stick around a bit. <gasps> really? You will? In that case... Huh? I'll see myself in. Thanks. Mm. And who are you? He's my bodyguard. And a soldier. Pretty cool, huh? Huh? A soldier? Ex-soldier. Well, what do you know? You've got the eyes, at least. You don't mind, do you? Bodyguard work's not too different from merc stuff, right? 
Uh, I guessed. From the sword. Just do this for me, okay? Fine, but it'll cost you. A lot. A lot, huh? One date ought to do it. Huh? huh. Well, you're weird enough to be one. What class? <laughs> First. <laughs> if you're gonna bullshit me, at least try to make it believable. <laughs> Hey, watch the flowers! You heard the lady. I'll make this quick. You better. You've got it all wrong, man. I just wanted to... Cloud! No! Much as a scratch on her, you're done. Sir! We bring her in in one piece. <laughs> what now? <laughs> Run! <laughs> Move it, I'll shoot! Oh no, you won't. But sir! <clears throat> Could drop that. in the attic. Should we pursue? Bodyguard work. <laughs> right. After that, it's back to the Sector 7 slums. You know how to get there? Yep. Of course you do. That suit from earlier. He was one of Shinra's Turks. What's a Turk want with you? Dunno. Hey, don't Turks keep an eye out for potential hmm. soldiers and stuff? They do more than just scout for candidates. Turks get called in to handle all kinds of situations with extreme prejudice. Professional bad guys. Gotta love them. Back to my question. So what's he to you? Looked like you knew each other. Maybe he thought I could be the greatest soldier yet. It's pretty old. Be careful. Okay. <laughs> Easy now. You worry too much. I'm not some princess who needs to be coddled. Shit. Thank you, Cloud. <sighs> ah, there it is. The wall. You know, I thought about leaving once, but in the end, I couldn't. Too dangerous? Too much. The whole world bursting with life. Maybe more than I can handle, I think, sometimes. Even now. People hate the steel sky. The slums, but I don't. How could I? 
all that passion, all those dreams, flowing and blending together into something greater. See for yourself. Hmm, maybe I'll go on ahead and leave you all by your lonesome. Just, ooh. Maybe you shouldn't talk. Then you talk. Tell me a story. Not for free. Cheapskate, you're... Ah! 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 Oh. Ah! 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 Gotcha. You're killing me here. <laughs> here goes nothing. You good? Of course. <laughs> My hero. Never a dull moment with you. That a compliment? Uh, not really. <laughs> Thanks anyway. If you would all just please calm down. Hey, what the hell's going on? Shut up. Come on, there's no need to shout. Popular place. Yeah, well, it's got a good view of the reactor. <laughs> it's on fire! In a show. They know that. No worry. Deck is all clear! Rope's good! Go! Let's go. Another Turk. A real man on a mission. On the hunt, more like. For me? For you. Don't know. Don't care. Then let's stick to the back streets. Ah, there will be monsters. Better than Shinra. The slums. <laughs> Still a fair ways off. Well, we did take a detour. Getting tired? No. Me. I'm feeling a bit hungry. How about you? Amazed. You're in for a treat when we make it back. Don't have time for that. You'll want to make time for my mom's cooking. And that's the final word on it. We'll get home quick and eat ourselves stupid. What are they watching? Uh, hey! hey. Standing inside the gunna shell of Mako Reactor 5. They're working for Wu Tai, isn't it see, obvious? There's still a lot of Cowards smoke rising from the rubble. Spies, so they don't have to break While this fallen beams and other debris I'm continue to hinder those rescue those efforts, the fires to appear to have been war. mostly extinguished. So if we help catch the bombers, oh, we get a reward or something? Uh, that's the that's director of Shinra's Advanced Weaponry Division, hey, isn't it? Enough of that doom and gloom. Excuse me, ma'am, but would you mind answering a few questions? They're targeting reactors. Uh, can no you give us any updates on the status of the reactor? So what kind of damage did it suffer in the explosion? The Are we in any danger? <sighs> Mako Reactor 5 has been temporarily shut down, and all fires have been successfully extinguished. The situation is under control, and the people of our fair city need not worry about any additional complications. We're in the process of conducting a full forensic investigation, but we suspect the device used was similar to that employed in the attack on Mako Reactor 1. The perpetrators of that atrocity were filmed making their escape. These agents of the eco-terrorist group Avalanche are currently believed to be in hiding somewhere in Midgar. And uh, given that this group has now attacked two reactors in quick succession, 
Can they really be stopped before they strike again? What do you think? Uh, well, uh... <laughs> Have no fear. Shinra will keep Midgar safe. Okay, time's up! Fighting against anyone who tries to destroy our way of life. Man, I can't decide where to go my honeymoon. Mind lending me a hand? The place is really hopping, huh? Nice side effect of the train situation. Really so, what do you say? There you go. That's my house. It's amazing. <laughs> I'm home. Hey, baby. Been up to no good? Rude came by. T so, this is my mom, Elmira. And this is Cloud, my bodyguard. Uh, hi. Take good care of her? That's my job. <laughs> or was my job. Yep, thanks. So, Cloud, you gonna head back to Sector 7? Yeah. Then I'll show you the way. Then why'd you have me bring you here? What if the Turks show up again? It'd suck, but I've dealt with them before. Honestly, I'm much more worried about you. What if you get lost, huh? You'd be too embarrassed to admit it, and so you'd just keep on going. Quit acting like you know me. Hey, Mom. I'm gonna go take Cloud over to Sector 7, okay? <sighs> okay. But why not wait until tomorrow? If you head out now, it'll be dark when you get back. Better to rest up here and make the trip first thing in the morning. When you'll have daylight to spare. That's true. She's got a point, Cloud. Hold up. Oh, yeah. I still need to deliver some flowers to the Leaf House. Since we have a little time before dinner, you should come with. That wasn't the deal. You mean you want more? Even though you've got a priceless reward coming your way? Do you know what I promised him? I'll do it. <laughs> I'll go grab the baskets. Be right back. <sighs> that Aerith. She's a handful, isn't she? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Tifa, wait! Tifa! Tifa! Tifa. Tifa? What's wrong? Nothing. Is Tifa like your girlfriend? No. Hmm, <laughs> but she's someone special. It's not like that. More like. I don't know how to explain. I see. Thank you. From now on, if you run into trouble, promise me you'll find an adult, okay? Okay, I will. And here, since you're so cool. You guys are both grown-ups, but you're also one of us now. You can come and play here whenever you want. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll be okay. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Hmm. Not him, but looks pretty damn similar. Huh? There's the number, but why two? Who knows? Come to think. The reunion. Is nothing to fear. You don't know who Sephiroth is, do you? Sephiroth, the war hero? I know he died in an accident five years ago. They said so on the news. Maybe they did. But I've got a feeling he's still alive. Oh, right. <sighs> Come on, let's go. Told me that that man, he used to be a soldier when he was younger. 
My dad told me that that man, he used to be a soldier when he was younger. I heard he came back because he got sick or something. Isn't that kind of weird? Can soldiers even get sick? Hey, Cloud. I know a lot of people around here need help. When I'm out on patrol, a lot of them tell me about their problems. Do you think you might be interested in helping out? Well, I'm all for it. We still have plenty of time. I'm on the clock. Don't worry. I give you permission. I always have the latest information. Come find me if you want to know. Oh my! Is that a Moogle? You can see me, Koopo? And you two must be very, very special people. In that case, welcome to the Moogle Emporium. I'm the owner, Moggy. You must not be familiar with Mog the Moogle. It's a pretty famous fairy tale. Mog wanted to bring happiness to all the Moogles of the forest, so he decided to open a shop of wonders. That's right, Koopa. I open a store to bring happiness to the slums, like Mog. And you know, only people with the purest of hearts can even see Moogles. Uh, are you talking about me? Well, Moogle magic isn't perfect, Koopa. Anyway, we've collected all kinds of rare and wondrous goods. They can be yours if you've got enough Moogle medals. But you'll need to buy a membership first. If you find any Moogle medals, you can spend them here, Koopa. So, Moggy, what do you do with the medals we give you? Oh, you know what? I use them to make everyone happy. That's the duty of every Moogle. Of course, just like Mog the Moogle. Yep. So what are you gonna do next? Keep on working hard. As you always do, I'm sure. You know, this is how I earn a living. Huh? Really? I thought you were just doing it for fun. I suppose some people do. Hello, I'm some people. Nice to meet you. Oh. You're that former soldier, aren't you? Cloud, was it? Former soldier turned problem solver. Are you okay, Miss Folia? You look upset. Uh, yeah, I am pretty upset. The kids are still off doing patrols, even though it's now time for their lessons. Not a single one of them has come back yet. Patrols? Is that a leaf house thing? Something they do to help out? That's right. In return for the donations we receive, the kids go around town picking up litter, running errands, that kind of thing. I don't suppose you've seen any of them, have you? <sighs> you see, I have some important plans this evening, and I really need to go and get ready. Would you like us to go round them up? Oh, that would be wonderful. There are five of them out on patrol right now. They all wear homemade swords on their backs, so they should be easy to spot. Come, look what we've done with the flowers. Lovely, don't you think? Great job. That's wonderful. <sighs> Isn't it? Oh, I nearly forgot. I saw some Shinra suit walking toward your house a little while ago. He was dressed all in black. A little scary looking. Wow! You're that soldier, right? Can I ask you a super important question? I heard bad people broke the Mako reactor, and there's gonna be another war because of it. Is that true? Who knows? But isn't there something else you should be worrying about right now? <gasps> I forgot about Miss Folia's lesson! I gotta head back to the house! Oh! <gasps> Cloud? Hey there, how goes the patrol? There's a lot more people on the streets than usual. Maybe because the reactor blew up? Well, you've been keeping a very sharp lookout. But, don't you think you're forgetting something important? Oh, Miss Folia's lessons! I gotta get back to the house! This thing done. Cloud, I understand you must be busy, but I hope you haven't forgotten about my research. Oh, hello. Cloud has been assisting me with my research and development. Ooh, that sounds fun. Count me in. One moment while I run diagnostics. Huh. How very strange. You don't appear to be in my database. And that's bad? There must have been some sort of server error. Oh well, any friend of Cloud's is sure to be of great help. Perhaps you can lend me your assistance in gathering data to test it? Cloud, I have the most amazing news! I believe I might know how to develop summoning materia. Something heretofore thought impossible. Scientists say that this materia can only be found in nature, but I may just be able to prove otherwise. And so, Cloud, I turn to you. I would like to test this theory by way of my combat simulator. 
To wit, I want you to fight and defeat Summon Data in VR. I sense that you find my phrasing to be somewhat... obtuse. Hello, Cloud! Sir! It's a real honor to meet you! I think you soldier guys are awesome! I want to be strong and tough when I grow up, too! You sound very determined. These are dangerous times! A reactor blew up and a bunch of kids lost their friends and families! Who knows what might blow up next? I guess that means more children might be coming to the house soon. And I think the teachers are gonna have a whole lot more work to do. Speaking of teachers, Miss Foley is looking for you. Oh man, I completely forgot! I have to get back right now! Hey, any marks for right? My very first understanding I doubt. Shinra weapons are on the rampage. Five of them, like floating eyeballs. I saw them wander off into the scrap, but if they come back into town, it'd be a disaster. We need someone who's willing and able so, to fight. You think this means another war is coming? I'll handle it. You will? Oh man, you're the best! I could hear them shouting intruder detected or some other nonsense when they floated off. Be careful, they look dangerous. Hello, Aerith. What do you want? Haven't seen him before. He your new boy toy? He's my bodyguard, if you must know. Wait a minute. Those eyes. Is he the one who beat up Reno? And what if I am? Need to cross my T's, dot my I's, that's all. Cloud, leave him be. Rude's not a bad person, really. No, I'm not bad. But like it or not, I sometimes have to do bad things. <sighs> Don't take it personal. <laughs> you Turks are all the same. All bark. No bite. You're one to talk. Please, just leave us alone. You know I can't do that. <clears throat> hey there, partner. <clears throat> I'm sure you're having the time of your life, but we're needed on standby for a job and something about Sector 7. So get your ass back here now. Understood. Got somewhere else to be? Apparently so. Go home and stay there. You know I can't do that. Huh? Uh, did you defeat the Toad King? Yep. Kicked his butt real good. Awesome! I knew you could do it! Now we don't have to worry about the King and his smelly friends. Thank you so much! Here, this is for you. The treasure we promised. It's definitely worth at least three gil. Okay, kids. Playtime's over for now. I've prepared a special assignment for everyone. One that I expect you to finish today. Understood? Uh, yes! Yes, Miss Folia! I appreciate you getting rid of the Toad King, by the way. Wow, Miss Folia. You must know all their secrets. Oh, if only. Easier said than done. They're always on the move, looking for new adventures, chasing new dreams. All while trying to make the lives of everyone around them just a little bit better. I try to make sure they don't stumble and fall. And when they finally do, I help them back up. Hmm. Sounds exhausting. <laughs> Sometimes it is. But I want the children to know that until they can stand on their own two feet, that I'm here to support them. 
care for them, love them. That even if we're not actually related, we're still a family. A real family, in all the ways that matter. If I can do that for them, then, well, then maybe I'm making this world a better place. I know you are. My predecessor taught me everything I know. I just took up his torch and ran with it, I guess. Uh, not that I'm anything close to what he was. Biggs is one of a kind. <gasps> oh no! I've completely lost track of time! Do you have somewhere you need to be? More like a dream I need to fulfill. Thank you again for your help. I wonder what kind of dream she's chasing tonight. No idea. Thanks again for saving our hideout from the king. In return, I let everyone know you guys can join the game as special guests. If you want to know more, then come to the hideout. People out, doesn't it? Yeah. You having fun yet? Heaps. Then you can't be afraid to show it more. Don't forget, it's all about service and salesmanship. I'll leave that to you. All right. But don't think you can rely on me forever, mister. Wasn't planning to. That's good. Cause I command a very good salary. According to officials who are involved with the ongoing all right. investigation... Alright. The war is coming soon. I heard, I heard! You got them all, right? Robots from the reactor getting lost in the slums. Must be because of the explosion up top, huh? They must have thought they were protecting the reactor. And figured I was trespassing on their turf or something. Maybe. Almost feel sorry for him. Getting all lost and confused like that. Oh, what am I saying? Man or machine? Shinra bitches get what they deserve. Now hold on. Anyway, I think it's safe to say our work here is finished. If you're ever in the market for a merc again, remember, you can count on Cloud. Uh, sure. And sorry about putting this on you all of a sudden. I'm really glad you were willing to help out, though. Thanks again. Actually, while you're here, I've got another favor to ask. There's this old guy who hangs out- I know you. You must be that mercenary. I have a problem. It's the anniversary of my wife's death and I wanted to visit her grave. But I can't because some creatures have turned the graveyard into their nest. Could you do me a favor and go there in my stead? She shouldn't be alone today. It'll cost you. That's fine, that's fine. The graveyard's right by the head of the river. But I heard they put a new gate in recently to replace the old broken one. Now that those creatures have moved in, I'm sure it's locked up tight. Didn't we buy a graveyard key off Moggy? I think we did. Uh, you wouldn't happen to be a certain merc that's become the talk of the town? Yep. I'm Damon. Little more than a humble reporter with the daily buzz. Ugh, that rag? The one that's always printing awful rumors about the slums? On the contrary, my dear. We strive to raise awareness of the plight of our undercity brethren. We seek a better future for everyone, rich and poor. Now then, my friends, I find myself in need of your exceptional services for a trifling matter. Are you familiar with the mysterious and notorious bandit known as the Angel of the Slums? She delivers written declarations to her victims, usually Shinra associates, before divesting them of their valuables. Everyone knows her. Everything she steals, she gives to the poor and needy. Yes, she's got a knack for public relations. Very popular down here as a result. Nevertheless, she is a criminal and a threat to the public order. I've made it my mission to unmask the villain. But the locals have been uncooperative and uncommunicative, to put it mildly. Now that my identity as a reporter has been exposed, my sources have all deserted me. Which brings me to you, the work of the hour, and the man who will serve up my scoop. Never seen by anyone. The angel gets in and out without being noticed and always leaves a calling card. <gasps> Maybe a magician. No, no, it's no magic trick. It's genuine magic. Rumor has it that the angel is a witch. If we're going by rumors, then I've heard that it's actually a monster in disguise. Well, I could talk all day about the dozens of stories I've heard. Heard you found yourself a funny new friend. Cloud, meet Mireille. She knows everything there is to know about the slums. Mireille, meet Cloud. He's a former soldier and super strong. Hmm, he looks useful enough. The kids have been talking about you. 
the defender of the secret hideout. And now the hero of the Leaf House is helping the Daily Buzz look for the Angel of the Slums. I am? <laughs> I'm a lover of the Whispered Word. Not that it's any real secret, considering how chatty the Chinra Mutt's been. Not looking into it for the reporter. I'm doing it for myself. Call it curiosity or whatever. Or could it be you've fallen under the angel's spell like so many others? Anyway, it so happens that I have some information for you. But I'll need a moment before I can give it to you. Why don't you wait with that reporter of yours? News? Have you tried talking but to Marae at all? Won't let us she told on. us that she had some information to share. Marae? As in THE Marae? The town gossip? I chased her for days begging for info, but she wouldn't give up a single scrap! So how do you get the old bird to talk? This old bird had a change of heart, that's all. Then quickly, before you have another, tell us! What do you know about the notorious Angel of the Slums? Has she struck again? Is that it? I don't know anything about that, but I do know where her hideout is. Her base of operations? Now that's a scoop! Where is it? Tell me! Deep in the scrap. At Lookout Point, hardly anyone goes out there these days. It's the perfect place for a criminal to hold up. Lookout Point! Got it! I'll check it out right now! But before you go, I should warn you about this rumor I heard. About a terrible fiend that's claimed the Angel's hideout as its lair. Oh! Quite large. Lots of teeth. Always hungry. I don't know about you, but I'd not go anywhere near that thing. Oh, well, uh... <clears throat> well, a good reporter knows never to take foolish risks. Uh, plan first, then act. That's every respectable journalist motto. If it's a plan you're looking for, I'd say you have one right here. Wouldn't you? So, my good mercenary, if I might impose upon you again, it would be lovely if you investigated Lookout Point for me. Believe it, you found one of her calling cards! This is the genuine article, I'm sure of it! Pinned by the Angel herself! Hmm... So this is one of her famous warnings. It's an incredible find! Oh, was that all? Hold on. Looks like there's something else. A message. To the nosy Shinma reporter sniffing around, I was planning to teach you a lesson you would never forget. However, by the grace of your mercenary friend, you were spared that lesson. But next time he might not be around to save you. You would be wise to watch your step. Not just a message from the Angel. A warning. If the Merc here hadn't bailed you out, that fiend in the scrap would have ripped you to shreds. Sorry about that, friend. Here I was, just trying to help you out. But instead, my kindness almost got you violently killed. Now, now. <laughs> no harm, no foul, right? In any case, I hope this narrowly averted tragedy won't discourage you from sharing information with me in the future. Hey, everybody! The angel left another calling card! She's gonna rip off Don Corneo! It's about damn time! Don Corneo's no easy mark! I can't wait to see how this goes down! Excuse me, I'm a reporter for the Daily Buzz and... So much for my reward. Here, why don't you take this? Oh, and no need to thank me. Let's just say it slipped out of that reporter's pocket. <laughs> Can't call it theft if you're just claiming what you're owed. Am I right? Well done, Mr. Merck. You certainly lived up to your reputation. I owe him a lot. Maybe more than I can ever repay. And now, I owe you a lot, too. I know it's not much, but I hope it makes up for it a little bit. We paid our respects to your wife, and we took care of those creatures. Oh, that's such a relief to hear. I can't tell you how much it was weighing on my mind. I was beginning to think I might never be able to visit her grave again. With my bad back and my legs, my whole body's a mess, frankly. I... I didn't think I could make it past the creatures. But I was prepared to die trying, and then you two came along. Still, I've got to face facts. Creatures or no, I can't keep making these trips. Don't say that. This is the graveyard key. Run it back to Moggy. But I just told you about my legs. 
Why don't you just give it back? Okay. It'll cost you 5,000 gil, though. 5,000? It's always money with you people. <laughs> Fine. I won't ask you for anything else. I'll take your damned key and give it to the boy. <sighs> it's downright depressing. What is the world coming to these days? There's some materia there too. It's purple, I think. Uh, you talking to the? Shh. So yeah, it was that kind of day. Shouldn't keep mom waiting. Hey, what'd they say? Good work today, guys. Kidding. They didn't say a word. But, you know... Uh, never mind. It's not like you'd believe me, after all. Hmm. Probably not. Tell me anyway. Really? Yeah. It won't be much longer now. The flowers, they... They have something important to tell us. Something they... Need to share with us. At least, that's the feeling I get. But, before they can... There's a final step that has to be taken. Otherwise, we won't hear them. Maybe I should just give up. Honestly, it's what I do best. Could have fooled me. From what I've seen, you're no quitter. Well, today's special. That's why I've been working my butt off. Uh, what's so special about it? Okay, time to go. Learn to talk to her. Did the flower say anything? Uh, good work today, guys? <laughs> That's the spirit. You're heading in already? Yeah, that's enough for one day. Where have you two been? Uh, I've been worried sick. Sorry, we got a little sidetracked. Dinner's ready, in case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, I want you to make up the guest room. Gotcha. Take a load off, okay? Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. Ex-soldier. I hate to ask, but would you leave tonight without any fuss, no questions? You boys made a trade, a normal life, for power. You can't have it both ways. I'm back! Good! Now, I hope you're hungry. Starving, right? I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. Uh. 
Hmm. Don't want to overstay my welcome. You're leaving? So, how do I get to Sector 7? It's simple enough. Just cut through Sector 6. It isn't exactly safe, but you should be okay, seeing as you're a soldier. Was one. Promise me, you'll never talk to Aerith again. Please. You got it. Thank you. Huh. Well, look who it is. Talk about a coincidence. What are you doing here? Waiting. Why? Because I'm not sick of you yet. Oh. <laughs> Lead on, then. With pleasure. <laughs> Cloud? Is something wrong? It's nothing. Ugh. 